not this one. We beat Star F F Fornius? Fornius? Wrecked it. Why haven't the Phantom Thieves said anything? It's in selling, not knowing what they're gonna do. They're declaring victory? What does that mean? Well, what can we do? Good morning. Kasumi, what's up? <laughs> Every day is so hot, and I empty my water bottle so fast. By the way, summer break's coming up. Can I ask what your plans are? You got nothing. What about you? I see. Oh, so you're not the type to make plans in advance, I see. Well, maybe then we'll have a chance to practice some more. I'll be sure to give you proper instruction. Just let me know whenever you're available. Oh, the train is here. Let's get going. Let's head off to school. Ba -doo -dee -doo. Excited for another day. Hey, your phone's buzzing. Oh, it's buzzing. Did Alibaba mm, message it's you? Just Ryuji. No. Well, there's no ace up if you to get in touch with you, okay? Uh huh. Ryuji again? No, but this time it's actually Alibaba. Good day. What do you want? Who is this? Good day to you too. What do you want? Ah, you responded today. Once again, I am Alibaba. You are the leader of the Phantom Thieves, correct? If we don't do this, what the hell? That's dumb. Taba Sakura? Wasn't Sakura... It's boss's last name! Does he have any family? Not that Was I know. He... For reals? How laid back are you? Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his place. Well, uh -huh. his situation does make things difficult. Just a little bit, yeah. Calling card was delivered to Boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. You're not thinking what I'm thinking. There's no way. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. You mean, this might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. 
That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being tested. Regardless, I think we should ask Boss about Futaba Sakura once. That's probably for the best. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about, too. Maybe. I don't know, though. I'll check the school's roster just in case. We oh, must make God. sure Boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. Yeah, concerning none of us hide our hair. Or eye color, or disguise our voices. Hmm? What's up? Who's Futaba Sakura? I want to meet Futaba. Why do you know about that? <sighs> it's got nothing to do with you. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. Wait. Come on, man. I need info. Looks like it's a hit. Okay. I'm confused, though. He knows him for sure. So it's simply the. Just remember, Akira, were you able to ask boss about Futaba Sakura? I tried. He didn't want to talk. Could there be a reason as to why that was? Alibaba might be our only hope of defeating Midget. I wish we could get some info about Futaba out of boss. But trying to force it out would probably have the opposite effect. To be honest, I owe a great deal to both a boss and Akira. I don't wish for this to be a source of discord between them. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's probably best to wait for a boss to bring the subject up himself. Hopefully he does. I mean, there's no way I can... I might be able to. Oh. TV. Hey, look, we haven't binged TV and relaxed in a while, and I, I was in the top 10 of my finals. I Yo. aced finals. I deserve to relax now. Tomorrow's the end of the first semester, but we still got all this lame shit coming up. If you don't take care of this lame shit, you can kiss your summer vacation goodbye. True. Oh yeah, about this Futaba Sakura girl. If she's related to Boss, think people living nearby would know about her? Possibly. That's some keen intuition coming from you, Ryuji. You should have made use of that on your exams. Oof. Uh, I never want to think about exams ever again. Anyway, asking around in your neighborhood might be the fastest way to figure this shit out. And again, I doubt it'll be that easy. It never is. Okay, I can do that. I don't want to get pissed at me for like snooping around. I'm just curious, man. <laughs> Summer vacation starts the day after tomorrow, but don't forget, there's an urgent assembly on Monday and we'll be taking attendance. There's been an unusual number of strange incidents this year. Don't do anything stupid over break. Got it? Don't go someplace shady in the red light district and don't go to the beach after dark. I want to go to the beach. I want to go to some cold water. It seems like we won't be having fun on our summer break for a while. Oof. Honestly, they might be right there. Everything's kind of in a weird place. That's the way it's got to be. Yes, I know that name. I've heard it before. The name of the teacher I had a crush on back when I was in elementary school. True. Maybe true. Sakura's on single, right? I thought I didn't have any kids. Sakura sounds often to make deliveries, but I don't know who you're so, talking about. Okay, the chief buys a lot of food. Far more than enough for one person living alone. So yeah, that's where he goes all the time. Let's check out all the shops where you can buy food. 
Okay. All this out so you can move it. Okay. This place is close to LeBlanc. Hey, hmm, Utaba? Over at Sakura-san's? I haven't heard anything. Sorry. Come again. That's Igor. We didn't find anything That's Igor's Utaba. voice actor. I think our only option now is to go home and ask the chief directly. I already brought this up once, man. <sighs> you read the letter, did you not? So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. Wow. You're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. Fine. You win. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. And stay out! That woman is real good at pissing people off. What's with that look? You got something to say? I just want to know about the top of you. What was that? This doesn't involve you. Where is Futaba? Let me meet Futaba. Is Futaba your daughter? That's enough. Just behave yourself. And keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. Come on, Sajiro. Lock the store up. Oh, man. Well, that basically confirms Futaba exists, at least. But it sounds like she's got her own problems. Yeah. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? I wonder what the chief's hiding. We can't really press him on the subject, though. Especially after he mentioned throwing you out. Yeah, I don't want to piss him off. How'd it go? You find out anything about Sakura? I've been wondering that too. At the high, okay. So you did learn something. I knew you could count on you. Alright, let's meet up tomorrow. Oh! Doesn't matter whether he's a zombie or not. <laughs> All right, now I can take that movie back and get another one. A woman was threatening boss. Yeah, she was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Oh, what's up? It's nothing. So to summarize what you told us, Futaba is Boss's daughter, and he's abusing her? He's I not. don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? No, I don't think so. There's no way. I would like to believe so as well, but we don't have any conclusive evidence, do we? No, we don't. Is it Alibaba? I've given you a calling card and told you the target's name. You should be ready for this. Why aren't you doing it? I told you I'd help you if you stole our heart. What seems to be the holdup? I also said I'd report your identity to the police if you didn't help me. Are you okay with that? I'm serious here. What a selfish person. 
Well, he does have information on us. I'm really starting to think that Alibaba is actually Sojuro. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, we'll need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about it. Tell me your keywords. Keywords? What are you talking about? Why are you just saying random stuff to Dodge? What are we supposed year? to do about this? We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. Let's meet somewhere. That'll be difficult. I have reasons for not being able to go out. That's why I'm contacting you. You can't like go this. out? Wait, I get it. You still people's hearts directly. That might make things difficult. Extremely difficult. One moment. I'm thinking. Okay, it's a shame that I'm calling the deal off. Stop looking at the Futaba. Futaba. Forget this ever happened. I won't report you to police either. Don't worry. Sorry for taking your time. Who are you? I said the deal's off. We're never going to speak again. Don't expect me to contact you anymore either. Why are you doing this? Huh? Did he just shut the whole operation down? This doesn't make any sense. Not at all. Not only can Alibaba not go out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either. Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Mejed? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. Maybe they were just pranking us. Yeah, there's no... There's no definitive proof that they were actually going to help us. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> I bet we got them freaked out. You mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep. And now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. But... I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? You do have a point. I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. Oh yeah! Remember Kaneshiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown! We got 150,000 yen out of it! Ooh. That's awesome! We can really go all out with that kind of money! Yeah! Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. We gotta go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut! Where would be good? Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel, too. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. You don't need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it, okay? I'm all for sushi. You're okay with that, too, right? Sushi's fine. Then it's decided. All right, we'll go tomorrow night. All right, works for me. Let's go. Sushi tomorrow night with the friends. I wonder if all that med medjed business was just a prank. Now that I think about it calmly, it's strange that they haven't actually done anything. If their goal is to target the Phantom Thieves, they should want to be acting by now given our fame. When you put it that way, it makes me wonder too. Especially after they taunted us theatrically like that. Yeah, calling us out online, putting the big calling card out, declaring their victory, like, with a day going by. I don't know. Yes, however, it would be best for us to come up with a countermeasure regardless. For now, though, we should cautiously enjoy the sushi. Honestly, I agree. We kind of just have to wait for now. There's no leads on anything. We can't do anything. We can't talk to anyone. <sighs> Something's not right. I was thinking that, too. Peace gaze, right? Sorry for bringing this up on the day before our celebration, too. Cheer up, Makoto will be eating sushi like, like kings tomorrow. I hope one person in particular is on their best behavior. You better not be talking about me. I like Ryuji, he's funny. 